Hey, it's Justin Morrison here, and today I'm reviewing the brand new Sony A7S III on behalf of Best Buy.ca. The Sony A7S III is one of the most highly anticipated mirrorless camera, camera releases of 2020. There is a lot to be said about this camera. Um, I'm going to talk to you about some of the upgrades that I've noticed. I'm going to compare it quite a bit to my A7 III which I purchased last year. I switched over from Canon to Sony. Bit of a bold move. Um, but I've been really happy with my A7 III, bar some little niggles. And I want to point out straight away that with the A7S III, Sony has really listened to their customer base. They've taken on board a lot of the gripes that we shooters have had with previous releases and they have come out with what I can only describe as a phenomenal camera. This thing is set to be a classic. So ergonomically, um, the first thing I noticed when I picked up the A7S III, I love this hand grip. It's much beefier than the hand grip I have on my A7 III. Uh, I mean, I still have the, you know, the problem that the, the, my, my, uh, picky finger tends to kind of slip underneath um, but there's not a lot that I can do about that but the fact that I have this beefier bigger hand grip here is a huge advantage one of the other things and this is a minor thing but I really like it when you pull out the um, port covers here on the side they are now hinged doors I'll t let you see that a little bit closer there um, on the A7 III, the doors, basically when you open them, they dangle. They're just connected by a single point and they sort of dangle there and you have to slot them back in. I love that these ones uh, are hinged and open like little doors when you do finally. Oh, that one opens down. Um, so that's a great improvement. Um, on the mode button here, you have a locking switch. Um, I don't have a big problem with accidentally changing my modes, but it is nice to have the locking switch nonetheless. The other big improvement you're going to notice here is the record button right there, that red record button. Um, on my A7 III, the record button is kind of small and it's at the back here and it's not as easy to press as this one. I love that this is a dedicated record button right on top of the camera. But yeah, just, I mean, a beautiful design. Um, I think Sony has, as I said, they've listened to their customer base and they've improved their game immensely. Now, one of the other big improvements, the LCD screen now flips all the way to the fully forward position. This is big. Um, this is the way that LCD screens should be done. Okay, a lot of other manufacturers are already doing it this way. Um, and this is what people want. People want to be able to see themselves on the screen in the forward facing position. Okay, so that is a huge plus. And uh, well done to Sony for finally getting on board with that. Now, another big change, and this is in the kind of usability space. I've always had a big problem with Sony menus. They're, they've been so poorly designed. They've been so hard to use. It was a big gripe of mine when I moved over from Canon. Um, but good news. A7S III has a completely redesigned menu system and it is beautiful. I'm going to show it to you. Um, there, I hope you can see it. Uh, right away, I mean, you can tell that it just is beautifully color coded. It's intuitive. And best of all, you can operate it by touch see that i can't see exactly what i'm doing here but you can touch the touch screen in order to work the menu hallelujah again a problem i had i have with my a7 III 
it's a touch screen. It has a touch screen. I can use it to focus, but I can't use it to work through the menu system. I don't know why that is, but here it is. Touch activated menu A7S3. Um, okay, what else? Um, just to point out the other thing that I love about um, this type of LCD screen, you can put it with the screen facing inwards, which is a great way to protect your screen when you're not using the camera. So I love that too. Moving on, what else do we have? The sensor on the A7S III is a full frame sensor, um, but it's just 12.1 megapixels in resolution. Now that's really small um, for a photography camera, but this is actually primarily aimed at video shooters. So a lot of the features that I've already pointed out to you are going to appeal to video shooters, such as the record button on the top, the forward facing LCD screen. Um, oh, and one other thing I'm going to show you that the videographers are going to love. It's a full size HDMI port. Okay. Not just the mini port that I have on my a7 III, but a full size HDMI port. Videographers are going to love that. With that small or that lower resolution sensor, what you get is phenomenal low light um, performance. So the ISO, the native ISO as they call it on the A7S III goes from 80 all the way to 100 and 2400, which is really impressive. But that's expandable down to 40 and up to, I don't know, something, some crazy number, but really this, um, this is a phenomenal low light camera. Of course you get in body stabilization, but what you also get is a new type of stabilization um, that's known as active uh, in the menu system. And what that does, it doesn't just use the physical stabilization. It also uses some digital stabilization uh, to give you an even higher and even more uh, robust overall stabilization mode. Talking more about the video capabilities, this camera can shoot 4K, unsurprisingly, but it can shoot 4K at 120 frames per second. That is just phenomenal. It also shoots in 10-bit color, which videographers are gonna love. Uh, I think this is the first Sony camera to shoot in 10-bit color. It basically gives you much better post-processing options. You can push and pull your image um, to more creative effect. Indie filmmakers are gonna love that. That's pretty much a prerequisite for indie filmmakers to have like a 10-bit color space. Um, so, and that's all recorded internally. This can record externally, okay? So if you attach basically an external hard drive, as it were, um, an external capture device, you can record 16-bit RAW. Now that's just, again, we're talking next level videography capabilities here. Another thing, um, Canon released uh, the R5 earlier this year, which was touted for its 8K video shooting capabilities. But one of the big problems that was discovered with um, the, the Canon cameras, uh, the R5 and the R6, was the video record limits. So you could only shoot for, you know, like in around 30 minutes at the higher modes. The A7S III has no record limits. Again, videographers, listen up. This is an amazing camera for shooting video, for shooting film. I feel like I could sit here and talk all day in glowing terms about the A7S III, but I gotta wrap it up somewhere. Be sure to check out my review on the Best Buy blog. Um, like I said, this is gonna be an instant classic. On behalf of the Best Buy blog, this is Justin Morrison. Until next time, peace out.